What's up guys? Got the LC Racing Truggy out today. It's slightly cold. I'm not gonna take big jumps on this because it's cold. Plastic's a brittle, I don't be breaking things because I like my RC cars. I'll save the hardcore bashing for another time. I just want to add something in there real quick before running this. Put the body inside this little safeguard here. What it does is it prevents the wheel when you turn, it prevents it from clipping the body. Because I've seen some comments online and on YouTube channels that uh, when people turn this and it just keep rubbing against the body, the best remedy for this is just to slip it under here. This also helps with preventing elements from going inside. So it's a two for one special. This is the first time that I actually broke something major on the LC Racing cars. I've owned LC Racing cars for a couple years already. Even way before I started the channel, I already played with them. And I have never broken anything significant. The only thing that I've broken on those is just like the, on the Takah and the Rally. I just cracked the body and I broke a body mod. So this is the first breakage and it's still pretty amazing. And of course I want to show it to you guys. I'm not going to hide everything. If I break something, I'll let you guys know. And this is all part of our hobby and it's an easy fix. Parts are not that expensive, so I'm gonna order them when I get home. Probably order extras. I'm debating if I should get a carbon upper deck for this. Hey guys, I'm back home and apologize at first. I was having bike issues. So unfortunately, I had to cut off a good amount of footages out there. And it's just a bummer and I can't figure out what's going on with it. But anyways, I'm back home. Just wanna go through some of the stuff that I said out there. In regards to the turning in the beginning of the video where I said some people on YouTube and on these forums, mentioned that when they turn sometimes the body will get caught right here and sometimes the body will get caught and it makes this nasty sound not only does it make the bad sound potentially this can slice through the tire and rip it so there's an easy remedy for this instead of having to trim the body or anything all you have to do is just take this body right here and slip it under this guard once you put it under the guard everything's all good you see doesn't even catch it anymore and another cool thing about this is that it blocks the rocks and pebbles from going in and now let's talk about the crash good thing everything's all in tech i still have the pin the hex the bearings are still in here the nut is here so i just need to buy an axle and call it a day it is a pretty easy fix and an expensive one and that's a good thing about us racing stuff 
a lot of the parts are really affordable so when you break something you're not really breaking a bank there's also one more easy mod that i have to do for putting the 2200 mmh battery from the wl toys in there that battery is a little bit too wide on the holder there used to be another plastic that sticks out so what i did is just took it out and clip it off once I clip it off, I can put it here. And to prevent the battery from popping out, I put a Velcro tape right here to keep it in its place. There's a little piece that's sticking out. I didn't get a chance to dremel it out yet because I was in a hurry. So I just put the tape here and also put another layer on the battery to give it a little bit more protection so it doesn't poke into the battery when I'm jumping. But definitely when I get the timer, I will grind this out. So what do you guys think? Is this a freak accident or is this a weak point of this car in the truggy? Is this a one-off? I want to hear your thoughts. Anybody else that have LC Racing Truggy that actually experienced the same thing breaking off the axle? This is my one true breakage. That tells you how tough LC Racing generally is. And also at that park, I took the LC 12B1 there before and I jumped even higher. I did bigger jumps than that and I did even more crashes and it held up really well. So that's why my question is, is this a freak accident or is it because of the bigger wheels is just a little bit heavier that caused the shaft to break? I went home and rewatched the video again. I saw the landing. It wasn't too bad of a landing. It didn't seem like the impact was too hard. Maybe it was damaged from something else earlier. And then when it came to this jump, it just failed right there. But anyways, this is part of the hobby. Definitely stuff happens and I'm not gonna let this ruin my day. I'm just gonna go ahead and order a couple parts. They're really inexpensive and put this back together. And I'm debating if I should get some more upgrades for this like sway bars or carbon fiber upper deck. Alrighty then. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. Until next time. Peace out.